Hi, survivors. It's me, Prepper Zan, reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. I've been wanting to report this to y'all for days since I first seen it, uh, since I first saw it, and I was working. But anyway, it, it's, it's about the residents in East Palestine, how they're experiencing lesions, uh, stomach pains, shortness of breath, Ever since that train derailed me. That's why I tell y'all, don't be listening to the news. Don't be believing what that news be saying, y'all. This stuff is serious. When they're saying, oh, there's no casualties. Everything in the, in the environment is okay. There's no environmental health hazard or risk or whatnot. And a lot of tech to determine that was a lie, allegedly. Now, these people are going through it and I really hate it. And we have to keep them in our prayers and try to be supportive however we can. But it goes on to say, hold on, let me, uh, I, I want to show y'all the images. If you haven't seen it, but I don't want to get a strike. It's really bad. Google East Palestine residents experiencing lesions. And you're going to see all these images of their faces blistered with severe sores, red sores. This is just unbelievable. It's, it's, it's truly terrible. Now it goes on to say, that nearly three months after the Norfolk Southern train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio, one resident is speaking out after experiencing health effects she believes is tied from the incident. On the night of February 3rd, 2023, 38 Norfolk, Norfolk Southern freight, freight train cars derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, some of which contain hazardous materials, which we're aware of. Courtney Miller, an East Palestine resident, described her symptoms to Fox News. Brian Kilmeade claiming she has many issues. Now, she's one out of thousands. A lot of it is stomach pains, constant stomach pains. It feels like stabbing in my stomach, she said. I've had a shortness of breath. I've tried to go to the hospital a few times because of it, and they're telling me that I don't need criteria. Sound like they've been paid off too. Allegedly, I don't trust nothing in this system. It's all satanic, demonic, and corrupt. That's why we have to be very, very careful and protect ourselves at all costs. She says, I didn't know if it was a chemical burn or if it was from the dioxins or why it's only on the one side of my face and not the other. The United States Environmental Protection Agency, better known as the EPA, took control of the response and cleanup efforts following the incident, conducting tests for contamination in the air and water and the surrounding areas. Somebody needs to be held accountable for this because th those people were told that the area was clear. They could go back to their homes uh, after that evacuation, and that wasn't the case. Doing my research, they had to lift the evacuations for the trains to continue to keep running. That's what they cleaned it up so quick so they could get them trains back on the track. It was all about money. So that apparently they told them, somebody told the politicians or whatever happened. And so they lifted that evacuation so those trains basically could, basically could, could get back running. They didn't care about those people. Allegedly. But that's what's really going on. Um, Miller says she lives about 100 yards from the train derailment site and has taken samples of the water, claiming that the EPA was lying. I tell, told y'all they do. It's L-I-E. Allegedly. I spent five hours in the creek that one day. And then I spent numerous hours in the creeks afterwards just to find samples to make sure that we didn't go unheard and that the EPA was lying to us because they were, she said. Miller continued, I found the dioxins and I gave the test results and no matter what I do, it's just like endless. It's endless. It's endless of them shutting you down constantly of them not getting you answers, just not doing anything. Former President uh, Donald Trump visited East Palestine on February 22nd, meeting with the town's mayor, Trent Conaway. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, Buttigieg 
visited the next day on February 23rd to inspect the site after being criticized for not visiting sooner. Many have questioned the federal gov government's response to the Norfolk Southern train derailment and the health impact it has on those who reside nearby. Since, since the February train derailment, other East Palestine residents have spoken out about their health effects. Shelby Walker, another East Palestine resident, claims she's tested posit, positive for vinyl chloride and benzene. This is so terrible. Leiden still hasn't visited East Palestine one month after saying he would at some point. He's supposed to be the president of this entire country, man. It's just terrible. And I also heard rumors that he didn't respond to that catastrophe because the mayor or the governor of the state, one of them said that they didn't need the help. They didn't want him there or something. But that's still not a reason. If that's the case, all this is allegedly. But it's, if, the, if that's still the case, you're still the president of the United States of America. So you're still responsible for the lives of these people and everybody else. It'd be nice if they would act like it. Miller told Kilmeade, allegedly, I forgot I had to say that. Miller told Kilmeade she has not received any financial assistance since the incident to help with medical coverage, but plans on traveling to New York to find answers. This is why I said don't listen to them people, man. Y'all better protect your life at all costs. Protect your food, protect your mind, protect your water. These people don't give a dog on about us. Miller has moved her family out, but she remains in the small Ohio, Pennsylvania border town. And that's another thing. Not only she's having these health issues, but now it's a financial situation. They have to take care of all these things on her, themselves. She, she just explained that she wasn't getting any type of, type of financial assistance, assistance going through this. So they mess you up and then with your mind and your body, and then they give you no compensation. Yes, we better keep our money saved up. That's all I know. Cause it's and that's all they they uh that's the end of that article. But that was enough to show us and tell us what we got to prepare for, y'all. This whole situation at the East Palestine should open up everybody's eyes on a whole different level in regards to preparation. How we have to keep some money put up. How we have to keep some ways of getting out of town. How we have to have some hazmat suits, some potassium iodide tablets. You know, all kinds of stuff put up, some water, put, a lot of water put up, a lot of food put up. You know, the list goes on and on. You know, how you need to take care of your body as much as you possibly can, eat healthy, prep and pray, and just be prepared. We have to, like, live each day, like, as if, God forbid, something going to happen. And then we we still seeing train derailments since then. This was February 3rd. We now at the end of April, uh, well, now May. And we're still seeing a lot of train derailments, chemical explosions. So we have to take what these people are going through and what they got, what they have gone through and what they're going to go through into consideration that this could be us one day. It's awful. My hearts and prayers goes out to the families, uh, uh, you know, uh, of, of this community. And um, I, I, I feel awful for what's going on it's sad it's like they played those people not just them but uh all of our lives they just play with our life that situation is so 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 dire it's so serious to have something like that done in that community and then basically abandon those people like that and then leave them on their own and then the money that they've been compensated it really doesn't take care of the fact that now they might have permanent health damages, uh, permanent health uh, uh, situations with their bodies that money can't recover. And time, and, and as time progresses, may just get worse. Don't listen to them people, man. When you have a spirit, when you know better, and that's the sad thing. People go down there and vote for these folks and, and, and think that, they're going to have our best interest at heart. I, I still don't understand that. They don't give a dog on nobody else. They don't care about God. They don't even like God. How you look up to and listen to somebody who don't even like God? 
who are Luciferians? Allegedly. Let's stay prayed up and prepped up. Prep, pray, stay out the way in that order and do what's best for our lives. All right, you guys. Please follow me on Patreon for real, raw, uncut, unfiltered content. If you'd like to make a donation to the channel to keep it going, all proceeds go back to the channel. You can do it by way of my cash up or uh, uh, my PayPal. The links are in the, in the description. If you're looking for land and bug out areas in Texas, places to skate during these times, I have some for sale and for lease. And as always, watch this world. Watch the weather. Smell your water. Boil and purify your water before you use it. Just know it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. These types of things may come to, come come our way and keep surviving. Please go to preppersand.com, scroll down and send me your email address so I can get those newsletters out to you guys. Preppersand.com.